the centuries without a contemplatively active center or centers or, or at least teaching so that people would be familiar with it, that uh, was virtually lost in the, in the church and, and I think in the other Christian denominations as when they came along, it had been already been a couple of centuries when it wasn't taught. So I don't know whether it's ever been available for people in the pew or the average person if they didn't live near a monastery. But monasteries grew because there wasn't really any other place where you could go to find this. And intuitively, people figure, if only I can uh, dig holes in the monastic garden, I'll have a better chance of getting to heaven. And so. But the intimacy, uh, the closeness, and the presence, and the uh, uh, guidance of the spirit uh, got to be pretty uh, unknown. And when I was a boy, he was called, or she was called, of course there's no gender in the members of the Trinity, uh, but anyway, the Holy Spirit became known as the uh, forgotten guest of the soul. Well, how could you forget the infinite presence of, of love itself? Uh, without some serious uh, changes uh, in, in your attitude or training. Mm -hmm. But the only solution for following the gospel is to interiorize it and develop a personal relationship with Christ as the incarnate Word of God or Son of God. <laughs>